Equatorial Guinea is a small Central African country that is located on the west coast of the continent, bordering Cameroon to the north, Gabon to the south and east, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. The country is made up of a mainland, Rio Muni, and several islands, with its capital city Malabo located on its largest island of Bioko. The second largest island is Anoban, located about 370 miles southwest of Bioko. This island is home to a small population and is covered in dense tropical forest. The third and fourth largest islands are Carisco and Elabi Chico, both of which are located near the country's southern border with Gabon. Equatorial Guinea has a beautiful and vacation, like tropical climate, all year round. The population of Equatorial Guinea is estimated to be around one and a half million people, and the country is known for its diversity of ethnic groups. The Fang people are the largest ethnic group in Equatorial Guinea, comprising around 85 of the population. The Bubi people, who live primarily on the island of Bioko, make up about six of the population. Other ethnic groups include the Ndewe, Anobanese, and Bujiba. Despite the diversity of ethnic groups, Equatorial Guinea is a relatively homogeneous society with a strong sense of national identity. The Equatorguinean flag features a blue triangle, which represents the sea and the country's fishing industry. The official languages of Equatorial Guinea are Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa where Spanish is an official language, and it has a high literacy rate of over 96. Equatorial Guinea is one of the smallest oil-producing countries in Africa, and it has one of the highest GDPs per capita on the continent. Equatorial Guinea is also home to one of the world's largest liquefied natural gas facilities. The country is a member of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. The local currency is the Central African Franc, CFA, which is also the currency of five additional independent states in Central Africa. The political history of Equatorial Guinea is a complex one that spans centuries, from before the arrival of Europeans to the present day. The region now known as Equatorial Guinea was originally inhabited by various Bantu-speaking tribes, who were later colonized by the Portuguese and then the Spanish. Before the arrival of Europeans, Equatorial Guinea was a collection of highly organized tribes, including the Bubai, Nawe, and Bengal. These tribes had their own effective political systems, which were largely based on their culture, traditions, and customs. They lived in small, self-sufficient communities. The arrival of the Portuguese in the late 15th century brought about the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade, with Equatorial Guinea being a major source of slaves and in the 18th century, the Spanish took control of the region. Equatorial Guinea gained its independence from Spain in 1968, Equatorial Guinea is classified as a presidential republic, with President Teodoro Obiang serving as both head of state and head of government. Equatorial Guinea boasts of a rich and diverse landscape and exotic wildlife that is sure to amaze any nature lover. The mainland region of Equatorial Guinea is dominated by the Mbini River, which runs from the border with Cameroon to the Atlantic Ocean. There are also numerous other rivers and streams throughout the country, including the Benito, Muni, Uoro, and Como. In addition to the rivers, Equatorial Guinea has several mountains and highlands, including the Crystal Mountains, which run parallel to the coast, and Pico Basile, which is the highest point in the country at 3,008 meters above sea level. These mountains and highlands are home to a variety of flora and fauna, including the elusive drill monkey and the endangered Cross River Gorilla. The islands of Equatorial Guinea are known for their beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and clear waters. Bioko Island, the largest of the islands, is home to the Pico Malabo National Park, which is a protected area that covers more than 1,000 square kilometers of rainforest and wildlife. This park is home to a variety of bird species, including the African gray parrot and the green turaco. The waters surrounding Equatorial Guinea are also rich in marine life with a variety of fish, dolphins, and whales found off the coast. The country is also home to several national parks and protected areas, including the Monte Allen National Park, 
which is a UNESCO biosphere reserve that covers more than 3,000 square kilometers of rainforest and wildlife and is home to over 400 species of bird. One of the most fascinating cultural practices in Equatorial Guinea is the Fang Mem Vet Ceremony. This ceremony is held to honor and communicate with the ancestors and involves music, dance, and storytelling. Equatorial Guinea also has a rich musical tradition, with a variety of styles influenced by both African and European music. One popular genre is Makasa, which originated in neighboring Cameroon and has since spread throughout the region. Traditional instruments such as the xylophone, marimba, and drums are also widely used in Equatorial Guinea's music. The country also has several major festivals throughout the year, which include the Bubai Cultural Festival, the International Film Festival of Beta, and the Feast of St. Joseph, which is celebrated by the Endaway people. When it comes to food, Equatorial Guinea has a variety of delicious and unique dishes. One popular dish is called Mboamba which is made from cassava, plantains, and fish. Another popular dish is suya, which is grilled meat seasoned with a spicy peanut sauce. Fufu, a starchy staple made from cassava, yams, or plantains, is also commonly eaten. Equatorial Guinea may be a small country, but it has made significant strides in modernizing its infrastructure. The Malabo International Airport is a modern facility that offers international flights to major destinations around the world. Equatorial Guinea also has a network of well-maintained roads that connect major cities and towns, making it easy for visitors to explore the country. Luxury hotels and apartments are available in Malabo and Beta, providing visitors with comfortable accommodations. In terms of transportation, the cost of taxis and buses is relatively low, making it easy to get around. Personal safety is a top priority in Equatorial Guinea, and the country has a relatively very low crime rate compared to other destinations around the world. With its modern amenities and commitment to safety, Equatorial Guinea is a great destination for travelers looking to experience Africa in comfort and style.